Hello everyone, Roy Neary here. Um, I am here to tell you about a Power Apps storytelling competition that I would love if you would like to get involved in. Now, I ran a session with Daniel Christian and Reza Durrani recently and at the end of it I demonstrated an app that you can use to tell your own story. Now the there will be a video which is the full the full thing coming out which shows Daniel and Reza's um creations. What I'm gonna do in this case is just focus in on the competition and what you can do. Now there isn't a prize as such for the competition because I wouldn't want to get involved in sending things out, especially at the moment. So what I'm that the prize is that you're gonna create an app that's great and send it in to me and then I'll get the chance to look at it and talk about it to everyone else and you get the chance to share it with people. So the prize is that you can, it's not just a piece of work for yourself, it's actually a piece of work you can share with lots of other people. So I'm going to get straight into it. What I think I'll do first is show you, I'm going to call it the end product, but, but we'll see, and then I'll show you how to, to install it. So here we go. So here I am, I'm in Power Apps and I'm in play mode. And this is, I'm going to call it a dumb story. It is kind of dumb. Um, and it's sort of, it's this story. It's just essentially, it's a collection of pictures and I put some words around it, which is kind of what a story is anyway. Um, I hope you get the chance to be more creative than I was with it. So uh, essentially what you do is you click on the screen and then all you do is you you create the text and you step through it page one page two page three etc etc there is there are actually sound effects that you can use for these pages so i don't know if you'll get to hear that that's a kind of creaking door look if you want to get creative you can um and then um and then you kind of eventually get to the end of the story um and in this case, I think it, it may not get to to the end. I, I think it kind of goes all the way to page 30 and then goes to the end. Yeah. So one. Uh, but you can go that always go back to this, the home page. So what I'm going to do now is show you how it is you get to the point where you can actually start creating your story. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to kind of assume that you have office.com. Um, so you, you, like a lot of, a lot of schools will have office.com. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to www.office.com. Now, if you have it, then you'll be able to log into it and so on. If you don't have it, then I will put a link to a video which shows you how you can get to effectively a, a trial version of office.com. Um, but I'm not going to get into the detail of that right now. So we're in office.com um, and I can see that I've got power apps here. I've got power apps, but if you're not sure, if you type in the word power at the top and you see power apps appear in the search, then you definitely got it. So that's a kind of a start point. Well, uh, and what I'm going to do now is show you that uh, I've created resources and so on for you. So I'm actually going to go to www.dataspinners.co.uk. This is just my web page where I put bits and pieces. Then we're going to go over to Power Apps Kids. And what you can see here is some content that um, that myself, Daniel and Reza have put together. So there's Reza's app, there's Daniel's, uh, a couple of apps by Daniel. And this is the Story Maker app. So this is the app that relates to the competition. Okay, so the first, I'm trying to work out what the best thing is to do. What I'm gonna do first, is I am going to go to the right part of Power Apps. So here are the steps for importing an app. So one, two, three, four, five, but I'm just gonna work through it here. 
So we're going to go to this button here, which which should open a new tab in the place it needs to be opened in. OK, so it, it will go through. In my case, it jumps through to eu.create, etc, etc, which is great. Then I move to open. And then I have to browse um, for, you know, to to the location that has my file. And so the question is, well, where is the file? Well, actually, the file you will need to get to via the website. So if you go to link uh, to the Story Maker app and you go link to download file, it will take you to this funny place called GitHub. It's actually extremely popular and well used. It's basically where I keep the file. So this is the little file here, 2.48 meg. I'm now going to click download and I'm just going to stick it in my downloads folder. So there it goes. So you can see I've done it a number of times. Um, I'll call it Story Maker Vid um, so that we don't have any um, clashes. Uh, and then I'm going to click Save. So there it is. It's done. It's saved. Now I'm going to jump back to the uh, to the tab that we're on to do with Power Apps. So onto there. And I'm going to browse again. And this time I'm going to go to Downloads. Uh, and you can see the app that we downloaded. Brilliant. Then I click Open. And it'll just whiz around for a little bit. Now, the thing to make sure you do at quite an early stage will be to actually save this because I wouldn't want you to do any work on this and then find you hadn't actually saved it. So here it is. This is how it will appear for you. And um, so what you'll do then is you'll go to file and then you do. Um, I'm going to go to save and um, uh, I'm going to call it story maker vid. Um, now I'll call it vid. So as you can see, I've done lots of uh, different apps and so on. Then I click save. So that's your app now. It's all completely yours. In fact, the whole thing is is actually at this point standalone. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. That means that any changes you make now should kind of get auto saved. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to make this um, I'm going to kind of show you how I might start to change it now. As it happens, I wrote a poem uh, a long time ago, and I'm going to show you how I would bring bits and pieces into this app in relation to the poem. So the poem is called Ogre's Journey, I think. Um, and so what I'm going to do is start to change things around. So this is the home screen, which is slightly different to all the other screens. So what I'm going to do on the home screen is going to type into here and um, I'm going to call it Ogre's Journey, right? Uh, and it is still by me, which is brilliant. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to File, then I'm going to go to Media, and then I'm going to go to, well, I'm not on the images, but in fact, I think I, what, if I can actually go onto here and click the drop down, I can go to Add an Image File, which will then pop up uh, a pop up. Um, and I'm trying to remember where I actually put the I actually put them in this uh, the funny place called GitHub. So I should be able to navigate there and onto Story Maker. And there is this is um, this is actually Bolg from is it the Hobbit? I think it's the Hobbit. So this is Bolg coming in. And so it was a story about this ogre. So it's pulling that um, that file in. It might actually be quite a large file. I don't actually know how big it is. Um, I wouldn't recommend having huge files on this just because, um, you know, if you've got a three, four meg photo, it won't make any difference to the app at all. So Ogre's Journey by Rory Neary. Wonderful. Um, and in fact, you can see when I when I did this, this was in 2014. So I can't remember when I did the poem, but it was in and around that time. Um, and now I'm going to move to page one. And um, so here I am. Uh, I'm going to click on to page one. Now, just be careful if this doesn't appear like this, and it appears maybe like this, then you can click on the tree view in order to get to page one. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the drop down and then this is what happens on page one. 
not a lot and it's definitely not what I want. So what I can start to do now is change this around. So what I'm going to do, I don't have any pitch, well, very many pictures for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and go onto this fantasy village. Uh, well, it says fantasy village and I'm going to change it to be ogre cover. Um, and then I've got the poem here. So here's my poem. Awesome. And what I'm going to do is going to grab the text, oh, grab the text, copy it. And oops, I don't know. Do you know what? I have so many versions of this open. I've been messing around with it for so long. That's not even the one I was on. So this bit it says once upon a time, uh, I can paste my um, my text in there. So you can see it doesn't really work yet. Um, and it's because I didn't really design it for this much text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, I have to turn my phone off here. Um, So um, I'm going to change the text size to maybe 15. Let's see how that looks. So what that means is that, in fact, it's actually quite, that's quite small, really. I'm going to make it maybe 20. That look a bit better. Now, what you can also see on here is that it doesn't understand the, the line breaks on here. So it's the Ogre uh, Grim approach the wood. And if I press enter, it should do a line break. Now, the way to know is to come off the page and go back onto the page. So I'm just going to go off it and then onto it. And let's just see. The Overgrimner approach the wood club train. It doesn't work. But look, do you know what? It's not the end of the world. Um, in fact, it does work. Yeah, it does work. Um, I'm going to make a two spaces. I actually think it needs two spaces just to make it absolutely clear. Let's just see how that looks. Nope, it doesn't do that. Um, club training behind it was up to no good. Um, he had a sore throat and was all of a blunder and now searched the forest to save us off his hunger. Now, uh, so all I need to do now is to kind of carry on doing that uh, until I get to the end of my poem, which I'm not going to do. But I do want to do one more verse so that we can see what's going on. So I'm going to go to I can actually play it now, but I'm going to go to screen page two. Click on that. Then I'm going to go on to this copy my text. Go back onto there, go onto this thing here, go onto that, paste the um, text in there, and then uh, I would then, what am I going to do? I, oh, I need to put my text size, I think I made it 20. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to, that's, that's the sound actually. So I'm going to put none for the sound. Uh, and what else am I going to do? I'm going to do my picture. Where's my picture gone? And I'm going to put the ogre in again. But obviously you could do lots of lots of pictures. Now, what I'm going to do is to go off and go back on again um, just to see how it really will behave. There was a room if you went deep inside, you would find tasty fairies and more besides. So, OK, so now this is kind of this is as much as you need to know to be successful with this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the home screen and I'm going to press play. So here we are, Ogre's Journey by Rory Neary. Then I, bear in mind, this is actually iPad sites. So this will look gorgeous on an iPad. So what I'm going to do is I click on the, you know, so this is, you could click on the screen with your finger and so on. So you click on there. And then it starts the story off. The Ogre Grimnet approached the wood. Club training behind him was up to no good. He had a sore throat and was all of a blunder and now searched the forest to stave off his hunger. And then you click next. There was a rumour if you went deep inside, you would find tasty fairies and more besides. So when he went through the gathering gloom, hoping his stomach would be filled soon. Clearly, I have far too much time on my hands uh, to be writing poems. Um, so... Um, Look, if any of you actually want the poem, you're more than welcome to to kind of build the app off that. And I'll I will. So now we're done on that. So the final point is, well, how on earth do you how do you then submit your entries? So let's do that then. So I'm going to come off here. Uh, so I was quickly going on to the preview and I don't think I made it clear. So top right. Let me just see. I've, I've downloaded this software, actually. Uh, Control Shift D. Oh. Oh, there you are. 
So I've not used this before anyway, but that's quite cool. Um, so I'll escape that. So there you are. You've got the play icon up at the top. That works. Um, and what I want to do is now show you that you can save this. So I can now go file and then I want to go to save. Now I need to go to save as. And the reason for that is I need to save it to my computer. Um, it's saying it already exists because it probably already exists in that folder. Um, it's ready to download. I'm not actually sure where it's going to try and download it. So let's just have a look at this. This does not look very positive. Oh, it does. Um, so story, um, uh, let's call it version two, something like that. And I'd say probably put maybe your initials or something like that, or I don't know, I'll put R Neary. Uh, otherwise, if everyone's calling it story maker and, and maybe it's a story, I don't know, something so that like if there were lots of them, someone would, would recognize them. So I'm going to click uh, R Neary and I click save and then it's just like a little file. And so at this point, um, all you would do is I'm just going to take us back to the um, to the datasspinners.co.uk page and show you that all you need to do then is I, I wasn't feeling very clever, by the way, when uh, when I, <laughs> I tried to do an alias for this, but it didn't work. Um, and all you need to do is send an email to Rory at datasspinners.co.uk. Not sure what's going to happen if I click on this. I think it's going to try and download the file. So I don't, yeah, it's going to try and download the file. So, um, so you need to send the email to Rory at datasspinners.co.uk. Um, and then that's good. Um, then you're good to go. Um, so I hope, I hope we get loads of entries actually. I think it'd be really good fun. Just bear in mind, it doesn't have to be a story. It could be something about science. It could be like some cool stuff like to do with the solar system. It could be like a recipe um, that is, um, it could be a recipe that you use to um, uh, do things. So, so I have a closing date for this of Saturday the 2nd of May and we have got another session at the reactor on the uh, on the 5th of May and that's when we'll be doing various announcements. I may try and do something that's a bit maybe a bit bigger in terms of depending on what the responses are and so on. So uh, in the meantime, good luck and keep power wrapping.